we're going to be having a look at adding an authorization into an existing change process. So we start within the Hornbill administration and we select Hornbill Service Manager from the application list. Next we go to the workflow section where we can select the business processes. So here we have our list where we can select the change process. Now across the top within our process we see our different stages, the proposal, planning, implement, and review stages. We're going to be adding our authorization into the initial proposal stage. So I'll start by removing uh, this link and I can now draw out from this node to add our authorization node. Clicking on the cog will now let us go in and add one of our authorizers. So there's two options here. We can either search through from any of our existing users in Hornbill or I can use a variable. So in this case I'm going to be using the owner of the change request. Now if you do have more than one authorizer, there's also an option for adding waiting levels for the different authorizers. And then we can just provide some detail to the authorizer so that they know what this authorization is about. So once we've uh, defined the authorization node, we can now again draw out from, from this node to add our decision node. So in the first decision, I'll bring this to go to our next planning uh, stage uh, if the outcome is approved. And out this side, the stage that I like to go to is going to be the review stage. In the case where the outcome of that authorization has been rejected. So the last thing to do is just to save and activate this workflow. So now we move over to the user app and I'm just going to log in a new change request. Uh, so we're going to type in exchange server upgrade and upgrade to 2013 and click on next. And I can select my asset or my server that I wish to upgrade. And click on Next. And I'm going to be assigning this out to the change management team and Daniel Matthews. And we'll just go in and we'll view our new change request and we'll see our new authorization under the activity section where I can now select here and provide a reason um, for this authorization and then click Approve to allow this to um, proceed to the next stage.